What is going on, YouTube man? It's your boy Mark Dinkins back at it again with another video. And in this video, um, I am in creative, so just know that it's obviously a little easier for what I'm about to show you. But I'm going to be showing you five pranks that you can do to really just piss your friends off while playing Minecraft. I love to do it. You can ask anybody that I... Um, that I play video games with or anyone that knows me, I genuinely enjoy pissing people off in this game. So, prank number one. All right, this one's a super easy prank. Um, you know, obviously, if you're not in creative like me, um, then you'll just find a zombie, right? All right, so basically what you need is a zombie. I mean, obviously, um, you know, I'm just gonna let him go because he's not gonna follow me in creative. But basically what you're gonna do, right, is you would have that zombie follow you, okay? And then what you would do is you would put a hole in the ground right here, just like that. I need to actually grab a piece of wood back out. And then what you would do is you would lure that zombie over here. You would punch it into the hole, just like that. Put that baby in there. And then you would take a name tag. And, you know, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it uh, YouTube because that's what I'm posting this on. Boom. Done. And then you would name said zombie YouTube. And then you would cover that back up. So now every time that your your friend tries to sleep, they'll... Well, I wonder if it's... Is it because I'm on creative? Are you able to just sleep on creative? Because that didn't work like I thought it would. Let me try and see... Hold on. Let me see if it makes a difference. Um, I want to say slash game mode S. Am I in survival now? Yes. Yeah, so there we go. Now whenever your friend tries to sleep, they'll never be able to sleep because there's monsters nearby. And he's just right here. And if you're lucky, you know, they'll spend forever trying to find him and completely destroy the floor of their house trying to find him even though he's just right here so yeah that that's gonna be prank number one um I, and I'll be right back with prank number two I'm not gonna say that after each one that sounds fucking stupid so I'll just see you in the next prank welcome back everybody for prank number two so I'm gonna go ahead and give a big shout out to my boy Noah for this prank um, because he's actually the one that came up with it and when he told me about it it was actually a really genius idea um, we have a realm going on PlayStation Minecraft right now and this was a prank that he was going to do to me but didn't so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys so say you know one of your friends has a a cow farm, you know, that's super important to them. Like on my realm, you know, a cow farm is super important to me because, um, you know, I always have lots of food, lots of leather, can make books very easily, you know, like just help everybody out. So what you can do that will just really piss them off. And, and uh, not only is it extremely easy on you, but it's, it's extremely hard on them because the, they're going to have to get them out of here. But basically what you're going to do is you're gonna make a hole that is three deep oops made that a little too deep so a hole that's three deep luckily it doesn't seem as if they're gonna take any fall damage but yeah I'm just trying to do this as quickly as possible because you know I don't want you guys to get bored of the video but basically what you're going to do is you're going to do that. You're going to get them in there. Make sure you get all of them. Come on, bud. Get your ass in there. And then you're going to cover them up. So, you know, like what I love about this prank is, is that this prank, like I said, is extremely easy. That took no time. Even on a regular world using shovels, that would take absolutely no time. But they're going to freak the fuck out for a minute thinking that they're... Um, their cows are gone. I'm sorry. I really got to work on my cussing. I'm just going to shut up. I, can't, I keep doing this to myself. But anyways, um, they're going to freak out for a minute thinking that their cows are completely gone. And then they're going to hear them underneath here. And the funny part is, is they're going to have to try and figure out now a way to get them back up here. And I just love that. I mean, this prank is like four or five pranks in one just about. 
Um, so yeah, that, that would be prank number two. I'm trying to do this in a way of like, number one was like, you know, okay, that was a good prank. Um, this one, you know, I'm trying to do it as I go up. Um, the more significant the prank is, you know, the more impact it has. Um, so yeah, that's prank number two. I'll see you in prank number three. Welcome back, my friends, to prank number three. I'm sorry if part of this uh, beginning part was cut off. I'm still trying to to figure out how this whole recording thing is. Um, you know, I don't record very much. I do usually do streams, so bear with me. But this is prank number three. And coming at prank number three um, is something that is extremely annoying. So... If you really, really want to get to your friends, especially if you have friends that, like, love their animals and actually use their animals in the game, such as my friend Noah. I know I bring him up a lot, but he always likes to have wolves. He likes to have, you know, cats. So this is an easy way for me to be able to get under his skin. And I actually did it in one of our realms recently as a prank to him. So it works for me to show you um, exactly what I'm talking about. Now, if you take a... Pretty much everybody knows this, but if you take a name tag and name it dinner bone whenever you put it on an animal It flips them upside down So now they are upside down and as far as I know They are going to be permanently upside down Unless you I don't, I don't know if maybe if you take a name tag and rename it and to name them again if it flips them back up um but, I mean, basically you either have that, if that's an option, or kill them. So, they're going to be extremely pissed because now their wolves are completely stuck upside down. You know, and it works on, on I'm pretty sure, everything. Yep, cows, you know, say they have horses, boom, horses upside down. Now they can't ride their horses anymore. You know, say their horses had armor and they had a really good horse that was super fast. It is fucked now. <laughs> so, they're going to be extremely angry. Now, real quick... Um, while we are recording this video, why don't we go ahead and check and see if I rename this and, and then I name th rename them, will it flip them back upside down? So I'm just going to do that. Or will it flip them back? Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. So if you rename them, you can flip them back up. That's actually good to know. I had, a, I had, had no clue that that was the thing. So... Um, yeah, if you enjoyed that prank, make sure to leave a like down below because uh, I deserve it, all right? Don't fight me on it. <laughs> all right, on to prank number four. By the way, I'm sorry. I know I'm probably being super awkward, and I need to stop talking about how I'm being awkward and shit, um, but I'm not used to this, so this is going to take some getting used to for me, so I'm sorry, all right? Don't judge me. I'm a fragile human being. On to prank number four. Welcome back to prank number four. Prank number four is also an extremely easy prank, and that's what I love about these pranks is, is that they're extremely easy to set up, so it's not like you have to go and spend hours trying to complete these pranks. They're, they're super easy to do. Um, but this next prank is one of my actually, like, one of my favorite pranks. Um, I think it's a really funny prank to play on someone. Just try not to play it on someone that has a house that is completely made out of wood. Like, obviously, the roof of this house is made out of wood, but that's an easy fix. Um, whereas if the entire house was made out of wood, the entire house would be completely destroyed after this prank. So, so try not to go a little, try not to go too far with it. Um... But this is one of my favorite pranks because it's super easy to do. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to, well, that did not work. So I know that there's a way. Yeah, that's how you do it. So you just basically you just sit here like this for a little while, right? You're going to, you're just going to make it super duper tall because you don't want them to be able to see the end of it. Basically what you want them to think is you want them to think that uh, y you just you just built a big tower of scaffolding? Ha ha! Prank, you know I pranked you, bro. I built an entire you know tower of scaffolding. Now, obviously, if you're not in creative, um, you're gonna have to just climb up here. But I am in creative, so I don't have to do that. So 
what you're gonna do well if I can get up here there we go is you're gonna well I'm not no I want you to place on the side place on the side there we go so you're going to do that no I'm sorry this is not working out for me like it should no place on the side <laughs> I don't know why it's not okay I'm just gonna f freaking all right I'm not really sure why this is not wanting to place on I'm just gonna take another block that's probably gonna help so you're gonna do just like this you're gonna set these these blocks on the on the outside this is just making it a lot easier so we'll just go ahead and do it this way I love how I'm s screwing up on my own pranks I mean joy so now that you have that set up let's just pretend like these blocks were never here oh wait that breaks that I didn't know that well fuck me I guess we're gonna have to just deal with it so basically um, what you're gonna do for this prank is you are going to put a bucket of lava inside the center here okay they're gonna be down here and they're just gonna think that you just built a tower of fucking uh, scaffolding and they're gonna be annoyed and they're just gonna break it because you know scaffolding falls very easily and when they smack that it's gonna cause it to fall but also what it's gonna cause is for that lava to start floating down here and they're not even gonna notice it you know they're most likely they're not gonna notice it so they're gonna just go ahead pick up all the scaffolding and they're gonna think nothing of it they're gonna go about their business little do they know there's a huge freaking thing of lava on its way down here and I mean obviously this prank kind of takes a minute to get down here that is a little bit annoying but once it does get down here um, you know it's gonna cover the entire house all right so it is now arrived um, I, I kind of just let it fall for a minute I cut that out of the video so here is your example so uh, right now it's burning that motherfucker down look the lava's already on the inside it's gonna burn up the floor it's killing the dogs I mean this prank just completely destroys that house and and it's it's a lot of fun I mean it will piss your friends off so just you know be aware of that um, so you know make sure to do it early on or or maybe to just like a house that they don't necessarily care about you know as much you know just don't go getting yourself beat up I right? that that's all I ask all right <laughs> um, but yeah that is prank number four I hope you enjoyed that one we are gonna move on to the final prank of the video in five four no nah, I'm just fucking kidding we're going right now I right see you in a minute all right welcome back to prank number five so prank number five is is kind of the most mean prank out of the ones that I've come up with so far um, at least for this video um, because you know if your friend is like a level 30 or higher this prank is gonna really piss them off because they worked really hard for them levels they worked really hard to get that enchant done and you're about to kill them and take that away from them so be careful while doing this one as well so what you're gonna do is pretend this is a house okay I kinda destroyed that house with the last prank so uh, you gonna have to bear with me and pretend that there's a house here okay so pretend this is their front door so what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna build down about 15 blocks so you know one two three four five six seven eight nine ten well eleven well okay we're gonna have to fill this up man you see this this what this is what makes me mad ain't nothing working out for me right now okay so you're going to build it down about 15 blocks that's probably a little bit more but that's fine alright and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna place a thing of TNT right there alright and then you're gonna place this on top of it the TNT allows for the gravel to be able to stand here without it obviously the gravel would fall right down and then you're gonna put a pressure plate down 
Okay? Now, you know, you could tell your friend, like, hey, you know, I just put a pressure plate down, make it easier to go in and out your door or whatever. You know, you were trying to be nice, but when they go to walk over it, they're going to fall down. They're going to take the fall damage, and then the, the TNT is also going to explode. Now, if that water wasn't there, that probably would have been a bigger explosion. Um, but, yeah, that allows that to fall. They're going to fall, take about, you know... It's 15 blocks, so they're going to lose probably three-fourths of their hearts, and then the TNT is going to explode, finishing them off completely. Now, the reason why you don't want to build your hole deep enough to where... Because um, there, there is a really... There's a really more gruesome way of doing this prank, which is to build down 20 blocks, which is um, the distance in which you know you die from a fall... And then you would die, and then the TNT would blow up your stuff. <laughs> and you'd never be able to get your stuff back. That, to me, is a little too far. But, you know, you know, do what you want, man. If you feel like you got the balls to do it, then do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Let me know you loved it. Let me know you're glad to see me back. Let me know that I'm awkward as fuck during these videos, because I know I was. All right. Peace.